We have the shirts landing page showing all of the shirts in our main product array, but it's only showing three shirts in a row instead of four. The CSS technique I'm using here requires that there be no white space between the list items. You can read more about the technique in my post on the Treehouse blog about using inline block to display items in a grid. I've put a link to that post in the notes on this video if you want to check it out. Let's get rid of that white space so we'll have four shirts in each row. Let's view source on this page. See the white space between the closing li tag of one shirt and the opening li tag of the next shirt? That's the culprit. We'll need to get rid of this white space for my CSS technique to work. But where exactly is this white space coming from? For each shirt, we execute the code between the opening and closing curly brackets of the for each loop. There's a lot of white space here before the opening li tag, as well as after the closing li tag. All that white space gets sent to the browser as part of the HTML. We could just remove that white space. It would fix our problem, but it would make the code a little harder to read because the indentation is no longer properly hierarchical. Instead, let's use what we learned previously about white space and concatenation. Right now, we close this PHP tag and then output an li tag directly as HTML. Instead, let's echo the li tag as part of the PHP code block. You can echo out HTML tags just like you can echo out a piece of text. Let's also move the closing li tag into the code block at the bottom. While we're at it, why not move the paragraph and the closing anchor tag down here too? We can move the opening anchor tag in the code block at the top, but it provides a little more of a challenge. The code we need to echo has a quotation mark in it, but PHP confuses this with the quotation mark that comes at the end of the piece of text we want to echo. Echoing out a quotation mark requires some additional work. There are two ways to address this. The first is to use an escape sequence for a quotation mark. Putting a backslash in front of the quotation mark will tell PHP that this is part of the text that needs to be echoed. That works well enough, though it can make your code a little harder to read. The other approach is to change the character that surrounds the text that needs to be echoed from a double quotation mark to a single quotation mark. You can use either a single or a double quotation mark. They mean almost the same thing, with only a subtle minor difference that we can safely gloss over for now. I typically use a single quotation mark when echoing out HTML, because HTML often has double quotation marks in it. That leaves us one last element. This is the trickiest one because it has PHP variables and double quotation marks in it. Let me retype it so I can explain each part. I'll use a single quotation mark around the text because the text we want to echo has double quotation marks in it. I'll fill in all the simple HTML we want first without the PHP variables. We want to put PHP variables here between the double quotation marks. We'll need to use concatenation here. Let's split the text apart in two pieces first. Let's put a single quotation mark to end the first piece of simple text then a period for concatenation, then another single quote to begin the second piece of simple text. We now have two pieces of text concatenated together. I recommend walking through it step by step like this so you make sure you get all the right quotation marks in the right place. We we'll want another PHP variable here, so let's break it apart into two pieces as well. Now we can add our PHP variables, starting with the image path for the source attribute. Let's end with the name of the shirt for the alt attribute. We no longer need this image tag. We've now essentially combined these two PHP code blocks into one, so we can remove the closing and opening tags here in the middle. Let's save this page and take a look at it in the browser. 
Ah, there's now enough room for all four products in one row. Let's view the source on this page to take a look at the white space. As you can see, between each list item there is no longer any white space. In this video, I demonstrated that you can echo out HTML tags in a PHP command. Before this, we had just been outputting HTML directly and sprinkling PHP tags throughout it where necessary. Either approach works just fine, and I commonly use them both in PHP files that output HTML. I recommend using whatever approach makes a particular block of code easier to read. Our t-shirt store is coming along nicely. We now have all our shirts stored in a multi-dimensional array, and we have all that information from the array displayed in a lovely four-column grid. Great job! Now go ahead and finish out this stage with a quiz to show off what you've learned about arrays. After that, we'll head over to PayPal to set up an account we'll need to start selling those awesome shirts.